googly-eyed Mr. Trash Wheel helps keep Baltimore Harbor clean. This funny-looking device has cleared over a million pounds of trash from Baltimore's inner harbor since it was installed in May 2014. Mr. Trash Wheel is a solar and hydro-powered trash disposer installed in Baltimore's inner harbor. The wheel is powered by either the current of the Jones Falls River or by solar panels when the current is slow. The wheel drives the conveyor belt, which carries trash from the river and empties it into a dumpster. A boat tows the dumpster away when it's full. Mr. Trash Wheel has a growing social media presence, with its Twitter account already having amassed more than 9,000 followers. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Here are some other innovative trash disposal methods. China finds a new way to get rid of rubbish on power lines. China is using drones to burn down trash stuck to power lines. But is that safe? The fire-spewing drone emits flames via a one-meter-long tube. It uses liquefied petroleum gas for fuel. The drone can be operated by maintenance workers remotely. China's power company Flames can burn up trash stuck to wires within 15 minutes, which isn't a long enough duration to cause damage to the aluminum-coated power wires. The power company says this method is not only more efficient to get rid of waste stuck to power lines, but it also reduces the risk of maintenance workers being electrocuted by high-voltage lines. Pneumatic vacuum tombs suck trash away. Swedish company Envac has designed an underground pipeline system that can collect trash by vacuum. The waste inlets can be located outdoors or indoors. Waste thrown into the inlet slides down a pipe to enter a waste tank underground. The waste tank is emptied by a vacuum truck when it reaches its capacity. The truck empties the tank via a docking point, which is often located outside residential areas. The vacuum system on board the truck sucks the waste out of the tanks and into the vehicle, where it is compressed. A network of underground pipes can be used to collect the waste of an entire city. The waste collection system can be upgraded to include a pay-as-you-throw function that charges users on what they throw into the inlets. The vacuum waste collection system was developed in the late 1980s. It has since been installed in countries such as Sweden, Denmark, and Norway. Seabin device designed to keep the ocean clean. Australian surfers Andrew Turton and Pete Kaglinski, who are also best friends, decided to do something after they became frustrated with the amount of trash that was floating in the ocean waters that they spent much of their childhood playing in. The duo quit their jobs and invented the Seabin, which is what they hope will be a sustainable way to reduce the amount of garbage that is polluting the world's waters. Built from recycled materials, the sea bin is fixed to a dock with a water pump that runs on shore power. The pump brings water through the sea bin, which allows the natural fiber bag inside the device to catch the floating rubbish and debris before water is pumped back out. Users have the option of installing an oil and water separator to the pump to clean the water that flows through it before the water is allowed to flow back into the ocean. The sea bin is lined with a natural fiber catch bag that collects floating debris. When the bag is full, it can be changed with another clean one, and the collected debris can be disposed of responsibly. Turton and Kaglinski are trying to raise enough capital to turn the sea bin prototype into a reality. According to Australia's ABC News, crowdfunding has helped the two men raise 50,000 US dollars for commercial production, and a video of the sea bin in action has attracted more than 10 million hits online. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Trash can in India provides access to Wi-Fi signals. Startup company ThinkScream developed a solution to the littering and internet connectivity problems in India, a trash can that offers Wi-Fi. ThinkScream's Wi-Fi generating trash can was inspired by the music festival experience where littering and lack of Wi-Fi are notorious issues. The bin, a roughly four feet tall box made from acrylic and equipped with a Wi-Fi router, was created to inspire people to toss their garbage somewhere else besides the floor. When garbage is placed into the trash can, the trash sets off a sensor at the base of the bin. The trash can then generates a passcode users can enter into their mobile devices. From within a 164 feet radius of the bin, users are able to enjoy 15 minutes of Wi-Fi connectivity. 
ThinkScreen wanted to create a Wi-Fi network powered by garbage and dispersed a number of these smart bins throughout festival areas. They aim to expand this concept throughout other cities. The project is currently being tested at events and colleges.